All right, the next carving that we want to paint is the immigrant woman that we painted from the front view. Remember, we, we painted her from the front view like the uh, Santa that we did. So this is a real simple, simple person to carve. Not difficult at all, not at all. And uh, uh, so let me go ahead and start her. We're going to use some, basically some neutral colors with her as we, uh, uh, we do this. Uh, i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to use a red oxide, which is a lighter red. It's not like the, uh, the, the red that we use for the Santa because that's a much, much, uh, uh, as we might say, Christmassy type red that we would use on Santas and things like that. So we will use the red oxide on the bottom part of the lady. And uh, we're going to use sort of a, a brownish color or whatever for the... Uh... Anyway, here's the red oxide. And as you can see, let me get my water over here. Let me go ahead and get this. This is a very, very simple uh, painting. Not difficult at all. Doesn't require a lot of uh, uh, delicate crevices and stuff. So we're going to take our red oxide and we're just going to uh, go around the bottom of her like this. Very simple. Just keep it off of the uh, the coat. I love this red oxide. It's 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 not a real dark dark red as you see. See, it's just very light red, which indicates her dress. And then from uh, the cloak here that she has on, we want to go with a. I, I would rather go with sort of a brownish color. This is a uh, an immigrant woman, not a real dark, dark brown like a, but a um, a brown color. And I have what's called a uh, bark brown right here. You can you can use any type of brown, something that's not not too uh, difficult to uh, to use. That's not real, real heavy like the burnt umber. You know, the burnt umber is really a very, very dark brown. I don't really want to use that um, for the lady. And this is a pretty simple carving job here. Uh, I mean, excuse me, simple painting job here. Carving has already been done. As we get around the, the hands, we want to be sure that we want to be careful not to get any on there. As you see, uh, the immigrant people uh, would have not had fancy, flashy clothes. They would have been very neutral in their clothes. They were not, uh, they were not, uh, they were poor people. Let's put it that way. They didn't have a lot of money. They worked very, very hard. Uh, they were the people that built this country. Um, uh, well, that came over and helped build this country. Uh, I'm not going to say that they were the people that absolutely built this country. No, I'm not going to say that because that's not true. Let me get a little bit more of this brown. But uh, anyway... This is uh, the color that we're using for the lady. All 
Alright, let me uh, come down here. It's getting a little bit too dark in the, this area. I don't want it quite that dark. Uh, that uh, this is really like an immigrant from uh, from Swedish immigrants or whatever. Friend, this is the type of clothing that they wore. So it would not be a classy, uh, 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 flashy type, bright, bright colors and things like that. They were not the type of people that had a lot of money, so they certainly wouldn't be wearing things that are um, quite flashy or uh, whatever. So, um, okay, I'm kind of, I, I lose my train of thought. Sometimes when I'm painting, I, I'm looking at certain areas and um, I see certain things, but as you see, she would be a very, very plain, plain woman. I try uh, the best I can to, to uh, you know, you, you can paint her whatever you want to, but I just feel that, that people of that era were not uh, a flashy people. They were very plain people. They did not have uh, bright clothes and, and stuff like that. They were very plain and very... Uh, so really painting her is not a you know a tough problem because the colors are very neutral in the way that we do it now of course around the face you want to be careful not to to take your smaller brushes and work around the face and all that so All right, I'll get the smaller brush here in a minute and we'll work around the face. But that's basically the type of, of uh, carving it's going to be. And like I said, I like mine to look old, so we'll, uh, we'll continue with this.